Hello crafty friends, my name is Alicia, but you can call me Crafty Al. I am here today with a video for Not Too Shabby, and I'm going to show you how we can use some stamps from the new Dear Friend stamp set, along with this single piece of craft cardstock and end up with four tags. I hope you'll stick around and see what I'm going to create. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. I was inspired to create today's projects using a technique that I've shared before where I stamp one piece of cardstock and turn it into multiple card fronts. This was a technique I discovered when my mom was visiting earlier this year and she shared some videos from Stamptastic Designs with me. Up on screen now are some looks at the previous sets I have made using this technique. I will have those videos linked in that description box below. And I will also link the tutorial video from Stamptastic Designs so you can go over there and learn more. I thought today I would use that same idea, but do it on a slightly smaller scale. So I cut this piece of cardstock to five by seven and we're going to do some stamping and cut it in quarters to get four two and a half by three and a half inch tags. Now once we've done the stamping and cutting I'll show you how I'm going to decorate those. I'll be using some more stamps from this set which is from the brand new not too shabby box of the month. If there are any left at the time this video goes live I will link it in the description box below but I know there's only a few left right now and they'll probably go quickly. But the good news is, if it is sold out, you can go ahead and subscribe and you'll be insured a kit in January 2023. As I start the process, I will let you know about products and tools that I bring in. But as always, if I leave you with any questions, you can leave those in that comment section below and I'll get back to you just as soon as I can. Let's get crafty! To get started, I need to make some guidelines onto my piece of craft cardstock so I know where to stamp. To do this, I'm going to use a pencil and a T ruler, but you could always use a regular ruler if you would like. I make a tick mark on the short side at two and a half inches and on the long side at three and a half inches. Then when those are done, I line up my T ruler on the edge and the edge of the ruler where each of the tick marks is and just make a light line. This will most likely be covered up later by stamping and then by the cut, but don't push too hard in case you do need to erase it a little bit. Now we're going to do some stamping along those lines. I will be using the two branches from the stamp set along with a couple shades of green ink and a brown. Now because these are clear stamps I did put a cushion underneath it and I will be using a stamp block for this. I put on the first branch which is the more leafy one and using the dark ink I am going to stamp along that line kind of twisting it back and forth and going to the left and to the right of the line that I just drew. You do want to make sure it overlaps just a little bit from each half. Once I have finished the top of that line I do the same angles down at the bottom and then I rotate it 90 degrees and I stamp the other line. Once I finish this first shade, I cleaned off my stamp because I will be using the same one with a lighter green ink. Now for this, I'm going to turn my paper 180 degrees so that this time when my, I stamp, my stem is at the bottom of again, but the dark ones that I just stamped, the stem is at the top. And I do the same thing, just trying to stamp between what I just stamped. And here's a look at that all finished. I know it doesn't look like much now, but it's really neat when you cut them apart. 
finally for this piece, I'm going to take the bare branch and I'm going to use the brown ink and do the same thing pretty much, just trying to fill in some of the open areas. Now this time I do rotate it between each. Sometimes it is kind of slanting down and other times it is slanting up. I just kind of did whatever looked best in the little area. Now we're going to bring in our trimmer and cut this piece in quarters to two and a half by three and a half. Now I could see a little bit of the pencil line through the stamping, but I will tell you once I had this cut in quarters, it was not visible at all. If that is something that's going to bother you, you could just grab an eraser and gently erase it. You might want to make sure your ink though is nice and dry before you do that. Before I put my cutter away, I brought in another piece of 5 by 7 craft cardstock and cut this in quarters to the same size. To make these pieces look a little bit more like tags, we're going to put some angled cuts in the top with the We Are Memory Keepers tag punch board. I did want to make sure for my final tags that the greenery was on the left side. So sometimes this meant the greenery was on the top and other times the greenery is on the bottom of the stamp tags. I think I used line G on the tag punch board and once I had all of my stamp tags with the angles at the top, I then punched the plain pieces as well. Eventually these two pieces will be layered together, just offset a little bit. To add some texture to the plain tags and to make them stand out a little bit more from the stamped ones, I brought in this wood grain embossing folder. And what I'm going to do is ink up one of the sides and then I'm going to emboss this. Then when I've ran it through my machine, you'll see here that the ink has been pressed down into those debossed areas. And then it will just get layered behind there and I just like kind of that wood grain texture with those stamps. To clean the ink off the embossing folder, I just brought in my stamp chamois and wiped it down as best as I could. If you notice there's still some ink left, you could probably use a gentle cleaner. To finish up the pieces for the tags, I'm going to do a little bit more stamping. I cut a piece of craft cardstock to a 5 inch square so that when I set up the deer in the corner, I can stamp it rotate it, stamp it, and just keep going until I have four deer on that single sheet. Then for my sentiment, I brought in the Snuggle Weather stamp set from the box of the month, and I used the For a Deer Friend on these die cut fishtail banners that I cut off screen. I set it up once, making sure it was all the way down in the bottom right hand corner, just so if it moved I knew where it went since the magnet was too big to hold it in place. And then I just inked it up with that same brown ink and stamped it until I had four sentiments. Off screen, I used my brother scan and cut to die cut my deer, and because I only wanted the fishtail on the left, I trimmed a little bit off the right edge of each of my sentiment banners. Now all of the pieces are done, so we can start to get these put together. I added adhesive to the back of the stamp tag, and then I placed it on top of my embossed tag just angled a little bit so you saw some of that wood grain behind the tag. I then added some adhesive to the back of my sentiment strip and I try to get it centered at the top of the tag and angled off to the left there just a little bit. I continued putting all of the layers together, and when all four tag bases were ready, I brought in my We Are Memory Keepers Cropodile, and using the smallest hole, I punched one in the top center of the tags. Now for the next ones, I did use the previous hole to help me line it up, just to kind of get them in the same spot. Once all those were punched, I brought in some twine I had in my stash, and I cut off a small section fold it in half, and then I poked the folded end through the tag from the back and just kind of threaded those so I had a little bit of extra texture and some embellishment at the top. 
to add some dimension to the tag, I added foam dots to the back of each deer and I placed these in the open area on the stamp tag. It kind of looks like the deer is looking up at the sediment. I continued adding these until all four had a deer. And then to add a little bit of sparkle to each tag, I brought in green gems in a couple different shades and added three on the front of the tag. And here are some close-up looks at the finished projects. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I put together these four quick and easy tags. If you did, as always, a thumbs up is appreciated. Until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you are interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box below.